week. And across the country, hundreds of events are taking place to get you involved. And here to show us some rather extreme experiments, none of which, under any circumstances, should be tried at home, is Tom Pringle, also known as Dr. Bunhead. Welcome along, Dr. Bunhead. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Um, I'm very excited about this, as you're about to see um, why. Um, what's your first one? First one, rapid custard powder combustion. Great. Like so. Yay! That's pretty I'll rapid. They said, you got a, they said you got a short fuse. You really yeah. did blow his top then. There we now, go. How did that work, Dr. Bunhead? Well, if you have a look inside, get yourself some of the custard powder there, but inside you should just be able to see there's a little funnel and a candle smouldering beside it. Mm. Put some of the custard powder in the funnel. I've got loads. That's brilliant. Oh, yep. look at that. Then we're going to combust it or burn it, which means we need oxygen. We're going to pump some oxygen yep. in the air through that. And then we need a source of ignition, so we'll just light these candles. Lighting the candles. And then all we have to do is seal up our system. Candles lit. Ready to go. Stand by. Oh, Three, two, one. Oh, oh, and the cat! Yeah, lovely cat. That nice was one. superb, Dr. Bundy. Well Let's have an action replay if we can. Uh, we're going to slow it down just so you get the full, full atmosphere of the experiment. Here we go. I'm standing by with the pump action and ready to drive it in. Drives it in. There it goes. Oh. And you can see, look at the custard powder with the candles. That is a Bobby Dazzler. Over to Liz. I'll tell Thanks. you what, that's explosive, Dr. Bunhead. Now, you're going to join me because we're about to do another experiment which shows a very quick chemical reaction. Very quick right. indeed. Also involving oxygen. I'm a bit like scared so. now. Woo. 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 Oh. Oh. Foam snake exploding! Crikey, O'Reilly. Okay, uh, that, what is all this about? What, what's going on? Uh, stop! It uh, <laughs> keeps going, it just keeps going. It just going. keeps going all over my leg and all. Um, did you right, make that happen? In here we've got, uh, covered in <laughs> foam now, we've got hydrogen peroxide. It looks like water, yeah. but this is the stuff that's used to make your hair go blonde. Oh. It's like water with extra oxygen stuffed into it, and it wants to get rid of the oxygen. Mm -hmm. It does it slowly, but if we speed it up. This is just coiling around, it's amazing. It's coiling around. Okay. If you speed up, yeah, this stuff is called a catalyst. It helps reactions go faster. That one's. But what is this? That one's called sodium iodide, our catalyst today. And you find it in sea salt. Wow. Now it's giving off oxygen. Oh. Add some washing up liquid. That's got a foaming agent, okay. which will trap the bubbles of oxygen. And then that gives us our nice foamy nice effect there. And there liquid. you go. That's just washing Ooh, up liquid. Beautiful. Wow. I love wow. it. Oh, be careful oh. when you dye your hair blonde. That's all I can say. Thank you very much, Dr. Bunhead. Dr. Bunhead, Bunhead, leave your little foamy hill and come over <laughs> here. I'm very excited because it's my turn. Yes. Now, if you're wondering what this liquid is here, which appears to be steaming away, it's actually ni uh, liquid nitrogen. Now, nitrogen makes up most of the air around us. And when it's cooled to minus 196 degrees Celsius, you'll know all this, of course. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Oh. Now, uh, now, Dr. Bunhead, what are we going to do here? Well, what we've got in here, as you say, is our liquid nitrogen. It yeah. is a liquid, and what's very odd about it, it's so cold, just the heat from our hands, that makes it boil. Wow. Great, can I have a go at that? Yeah. Be careful Look at on that. Off. Now, it's not boiling hot, it's boiling cold at minus yeah. 196 degrees Celsius. Right. And as it boils, it evaporates. <laughs> As it changes into a gas, its volume expands enormously, about 600 times its volume. So what I'm going to do yep. is I'm going to get this bottle filled with liquid nitrogen. Yep. Ask you to hold that for me. <laughs> you might cool. want to pop your safety helmet on there I'll, as well. I will. I'll put everything on that's going to protect me from this one, I'll and tell you. Then <coughs> what we're going to do, I'm going <laughs> to attach my safety line here. Because <laughs> this, <is, laughs> this, this, is, this is extreme science we're doing now. Right, right. And we'll attach that to the bottle yep. and what you notice is the liquid nitrogen is changing to a gas yes. and as it does <laughs> it expands <laughs> into this hot water bottle. <laughs> right. You can take that away now because we want to increase the oh. rate of evaporation and uh, you can help me actually. Just hold that a second. Yep. I'll put this glove on. Right. And <laughs> I'll take it back again. Major stuff. We're going to drop it in some hot water. That'll right. make it evaporate oh. much faster. Hey. And that's going to look at it go! Oh. Look at this! Hey. This is unbelievable! Come on. Put your fingers uh, in your ears! Oh my oh, God! Here it goes! Like a baboon! Uh, <laughs> is it going to go? Is it, it is! Gonna go? Come it's on! Gonna go. It's going to go! Oh. We're completely covered in glitter. That was unbelievable. Fantastic. We've got ice everywhere. Let's have a look at that one again in slow motion, shall we, Dr. But Look, there it is, look. <laughs> wow. Oh, and suddenly. And all the glitter inside makes it look so much better. Absolutely incredible. Oh. I had a great time. Thanks ever so much Thank for that. You. Thank you. Let's go over to Basil Brush Basil.